No, no, a thousand times no! Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kamen Rider 01 DX Zaya Thousand Driver! So here we are, and there it is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So our front here, we have the driver, we have the keys, we have Kamen Rider Thouser, love that helmet design, by the way, love that. Zaya Thousand Driver on the side of the box, we have Thouser on the other side of the box, we have words and things, Zaya Enterprise, things and stuff, stuff and things. On the top, we have the driver, we have Thouser yet again, the keys on the bottom, driver, Thouser, on the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things and stuff. Warning, don't eat anything in this box, that could be very bad for you. And we have Sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Zaya Thousand Driver. And before we take a look at the belt itself, first let's take a look at the included keys. So first we'll take a look at Awaking Arsenal, the Zetsumerai's key. You can see there, Awaking Arsenal, Zetsumetsu Evolution. You can see the design here, done in kind of like a dull gold. You can see the key itself just molded in a dark gray plastic. You can see a quite different design from the typical progress keys that we're used to. On the back, just some more multi detail. Uh, this does not do anything. This is just this is just a hunk of plastic. There is no electronics. This does not make any noises. This is just here to accompany the actual key here, which is the amazing Caucasus and ability break horn. You can see again. At all that symbolage there, done in gold. The whole key is done in a nice smoky, transclearance plastic. And there's the back again. You can pretty much see what's going on inside. And as usual, we have Side Pac Man just molded on it forever in shame. You have the QR code. You want to scan it? Go ahead, free scan on me. You're welcome. And you have your activation button right there, your battery compartment right there. The speaker is right up front. And just to compare it to a regular progress key. Yes, you can see the differences there in the molding. There you go. So now, let's get down to the noises. Now, the cool thing about this key is that it is spring-loaded, so when you push the button, you get... Break horn! It opens on its own. It says break horn, and there you have a nice skeletal robotic design there, and when you push the button again... Amazing horn! And push it again. Thouser Horn! There you go. Great Horn! And there you have that. So that's pretty cool. So you got that going on. So now, without... It's still blinking because we haven't done anything with it yet. But without further ado... Let's bring in the Zero One driver and our friend the Rider Can. Because if the Rider Can... You can... So let's get down to it now. Again, Awaking Arsenal uh, does not produce any noises. Again, there are no electronics in this, so this is not gonna do anything. It doesn't do anything. So we're just gonna be using amazing Caucasus here. So, push the button. And now our attack. Thousand impact. Boom. And now we'll do our attack with the second key skin. Next 
explosions and explosions. And next, the Ames Shot Riser. He's got a fever, and the only cure is more blasting. And next up, the Force Riser. And you do have to push the button to unlock the front panel here. And lastly, the Atash Ado. And now on to the main event of the evening. Here we have the Zaya 1000 driver, and this is the transformation device of Kamen Rider Thouser. And yes, this is our fourth belt of the year. Fourth. We're already on four belts, yeah. Um, so that's getting closer here. So we can take a look at the detail. You can see the front done all in black. You get some nice kind of a bronze color going on there. You also get some metallic purple. Going around the perimeter there, and we have some nice molded details throughout. We have not one, but two slots here for keys. Let's see up top, there's a bit of a molded detail. There is the bottom. Here is the back. Again, a good bit of molded detail going on. Your on-off switch is right here. Your battery compartment is right here. It takes three AAA batteries, which are not included. You'll have to get those yourself. And your speaker is right up top. And of course, this being a belt, you do get belt parts. Yay for belt parts. There's a black strap here. And you have a little bit here on the back to hold any slack. And as usual, you just hold down the little buttons to depress those pegs. And you just clip it on to either side, like so, and like so. And there you have the whole belt. And of course, if you want to wear this on your adult waist, there are numerous ways you can go about doing that. But there you have the complete driver right there. So let's turn it on. So uh, again, your on the switch is right back here. Turn it on and you get thousand driver. Tells you what it is in case you already forgot. And I love that voice, by the way. I love it, but <laughs> let's move on. And we'll bring the Ryder can back in for its second appearance in this review. And we will get down to some henshining. So to transform, we have to use both of these keys, a Wicking Arsenal and Amazing Caucasus. So, we're just gonna push the button. Now, you want to insert a Wicking Arsenal first into this side. I guess the standby going. 
And then plug in your other key. And there we go, we have transformed into Common Rider Thouser, and I love how there's even a sponsored message at the end. That's wonderful. Presented by Zaya. <laughs> Your impending demise, presented by Zaya. So now we'll do our attack, and to do that we just push in the amazing Caucasus key. Explosions! And explosions. And I love the way this driver looks when it's opened up too. I think that looks really cool. Really, it's a really cool design in my opinion, but there you go. So now we'll remove the keys. So you get this engaged noise there. On either side, and we close the doors. And there you have that. Now, if you just plug in Amazing Caucasus on its own, You can see it goes through the henshin sequence, but the door doesn't open. You need the Zetsumarize key to open the door. There you go. So now when we do the attack... You get the thousand break, so you get a different attack there. So we'll disengage the keys again. And uh, just to show you that uh, you can't swap the keys, they're only meant to go on one side here, so these don't work any other way, they just, they just don't go. So they're only meant to go in a specific way. But now we will close the driver up and let's see what happens when we bring in a, uh, a regular progress key here so again you can't plug it into this side it, it doesn't work only meant to go on one side so let's go Jump. you get the error you get the error so. you get that but when we plug in Awakening Arsenal first... You get that, and the attack. Now that's what happens in this situation, but if we authorize Rising Hopper here, You get the whole henshin sequence there, so that's pretty cool. And we can do the attack. So, there you go! So there you have the Zaya 1000 driver, and this thing is really cool. I really like it. Um, love the design of the driver. I think it looks really cool. like the design of the keys, too. I just like the way they have their, their own kind of flair to them. 
Love the voice on the belt too. Love the voice. But yeah, overall, this is really cool. I dig it. So there you go. Now, of course, there are many sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandaraki. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common writer items. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Zero One playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well and i think that's it so don't forget to check out m games check out love peace paranormal follow me on twitter all that good stuff down in the description below and i think that's pretty much all there is to say so there is the common writer zero one dx zaya thousand driver and this is mgo saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing be geek be proud home in your face